Department and Martine Crample. No, I'm good. Uh, congrats to Xavier. Uh, obviously, they made some some big plays down the stretch, big offensive rebound uh, on that last possession. Uh, you know, proud of the way our guys battled. We didn't have our A game certainly today. Um, you know, Xavier's size and physicality certainly had something to do with that. Um, but you know, we kept fighting, we kept digging, we got ourselves back in the game, um, and gave ourselves a chance to win it. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, we didn't execute the last play very well, and then. Uh, you know, I saw something. Uh, I thought Davion and I had a one more pass to tie for an open three. So, elected not to take the time out. Obviously, in retrospect, I'd do it different next time. Uh, but uh, you know, still, still proud of my team. Really have enjoyed coaching this group, and uh, hopefully, there's some basketball left for us. In the middle, John. Yeah, um, the last play, Tyshawn. Just what did you see, and what were you trying to do with the final shot? Uh, I was trying to create a play for one of my teammates to hopefully either get a wide open three or eventually just try to get a play down the stretch to get Teeny a wide open look in the paint as well. But somehow they just didn't execute. All the way on the right, Jeff. Greg, you sort of mentioned you hope that there's some basketball left. Uh, I guess what would your case be um, for Creighton to be included in the NCAA tournament? Well, we're, you know, we're, I think we're three and seven when we have, uh, when either Marcus was out or Damian Jefferson was out. Uh, obviously, Damian Jefferson's still not totally back to normal and ha it hasn't played a lot. Uh, and, you know, 15 and seven against a really good schedule on the year. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it, it just depends. It depends if playing a good schedule is going to be rewarded. You know, we played one of the better schedule, top ten schedule in the country, and if uh, if that's important, then we'll have a shot. If it's if uh, the committee uh, decides that it's not that important, uh, then we won't. Uh, but you know, I don't think anybody really knows what this new net means, uh, how much they're going to use it. I think everybody had an idea in the past. If your RPI is terrible, you're probably not getting in. Uh, if your RPI is good, it doesn't necessarily mean you're in, but at least you're in the conversation. And I, I just don't know that um, anybody understands exactly what's going to happen. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see, and uh, hope we get in. If we don't, uh, you know, we'll give it everything we have in the NIT. Great side. Uh, Greg, early in the first half, you guys were playing at a really good pace. You guys were making shots early. Did they do something to slow you down specifically, or was it more on you guys just not hitting hitting looks after that? Yeah, we had some, you know, I think we had three turnovers in the last seven possessions of the first half, seven or eight possessions. Um, and, you know, they scored on the last three. So obviously you're taking it out of the net. It's hard to have pace. Uh, but, you know, I, I thought we had some guys that maybe had the jitters a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously it's... Uh, uh, you know, besides our our, our, fre our freshmen that we're playing, and you know, sophomores in a new role. Really, this is Martin's first experience in the Garden. You know, he did, didn't play much as a freshman. He was hurt last year, so it's the first time uh, that, even though he's a fourth-year junior, first time he's experienced it. And and I think until you've been there and done it, uh, I think the enormity of it could maybe get to you. And I think at times it did us today. I, I just didn't think we were ourselves uh, with our pace, um, with our ball movement at times. Uh, and then, you know, we have, we have really been flying around defensively and, and forcing our opponents into errors, and, and today we weren't, weren't able to do that. And again, that's a credit to Xavier and, and their ball security. Right in front, Isaiah. Coach, as the team went through some droughts throughout the game, what were some points of emphasis that you hopped on to keep your team engaged? And as you saw, you guys were able to make a run at the end. We, we've been really good defensively, really, and, and today, you know, I think it was a 65 possession game and they had 63 points. So, uh, you know, over the last 10, 11 games, we've held teams an average below one point per possession. So, you know, we felt like our defense could be good enough to get us back in the game if we just stick to things. Uh, and, and, and we did for the most part. Uh, you know, obviously Hankins had a, had a great night. Uh, a great afternoon, and you know some of the guys that you would probably worry about a little bit more in, in Marshall and Scruggs and Gooden, uh, you know their numbers weren't great. The rest of the team, I think, was 15 to 45 uh, 
and Hankins goes 11 to 15. So we just we didn't have an answer for him. His offensive rebounds it seemed like everyone was a backbreaker. Uh, but we, you know we were fine in the huddles. We we had full confidence we could get back in the game and win the game. Uh, you know defensively and then with our ball movement on the other end of the floor. In the middle, John. Greg, just a couple questions about the end. Did you consider going big at all, knowing that? Offensive rebound was a possibility, I guess, in that on that last possession. Well, they had four guards in, so no, uh, you know, like you, somebody would have had to guard a, a guard out on the perimeter. Uh, so you know, we got him actually. The you know the good and took a long two, which is exactly the shot we want him to take. We just didn't clean up that backside on the boards, and and I, I didn't see what happened. I'd have to go look at it on film to see if he just made a great play or if, or if we missed a block out. Gotcha. And then your last possession. I think I would imagine ideally you wouldn't want to wait till the end, but I don't know. Did, was that a message at all, just to uh, for the last shot? No, no. We we had a play call that just didn't get executed, um, and and then when it broke down, like I said, uh, when Davion got it back, I felt like two guys ran at him and left Tyshawn, and I thought he had an opportunity for one more pass to Tyshawn. And when Tyshawn caught it, whether he didn't catch it clean, uh, he decided not to shoot it on the catch, uh, and you know by then it was a little late to take a timeout. Second row right Coach, I'm looking at the board as uh, we were looking at percentages. Free throws, uh, you had eight free throws for the uh, entire game. Hit three of them, three of eight. That's five points uh, right there. Um, is there, I mean, you were happy with the shot that you got because uh, he can hit it as far as the three point is concerned. But uh, driving to the hoop, is there, was there a reason that uh, the fear of going down low against Xavier? Well, obviously they've got some length down there with Jones and, and Hankins. And, and when we got in there, you know, we, we missed some layups the first half. We had some really good opportunities close to the basket that we didn't finish. And um, while we struggled shooting free throws in November and December, we've been a really good free throw shooting team uh, in conference play. Uh, today we missed them, you know, and, and the good news is I think they only had 12. Um, you know, we haven't been a team that's fouled a lot. And as, as long as we're not putting them on the free throw line a lot, uh, you know, we're good with that. Uh, we just we just missed our free throws and the opportunities we had today. Last question, John. Yeah, Martin, just what for you was the difference in the second half? Obviously, you got going and, and made some buckets. What what was the difference for you? I uh, just got more comfortable um, with the space around me, just like Coach Max said. That's probably the first time for me playing in here. Um, just, you know, taking advantage of what they gave me and Try to take it to the hoop. Brayton, thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks a lot.